morning, Merlo. Good morning. Happy Tuesday, back to work. Yesterday was family day, so everyone was off. It was such a nice long weekend. It was even good weather. I went for a walk with my mom yesterday and it was just really nice. I'm just on my computer, I showered, I'm letting my hair air dry, and then I'm gonna quickly just blow dry it um, because I have to leave for a doctor's appointment this morning. Starting the new year, it was one of my goals to focus on my health a little bit more. So I have been making doctor's appointments because I haven't been very good at that in the past. So just getting routine checks because I think that's really important and I haven't prioritized it in the past. I'm just having my coffee, but I made it to go because I have to leave shortly. But I've just been doing some work this morning um, and then I'll head out to my appointment. I thought today I'd take you around my day. It's not a typical day in my life because I don't have appointments every week, but <laughs> I just thought, you know what, let's vlog today. I haven't vlogged in a little while. Another thing, I did my nails yesterday. I think it's SC Lilacism. I'll, I'll check for you, just so that I'm certain. But it's so pretty, I love. I love this shade, and nothing makes me feel better than a fresh manicure. Having your nails done, something else makes your life feel like it's on track. <laughs> I'm in the car, I'm at a light, and I just have this habit, every time I'm in the car, I always call someone, like that's what I do. I have a driving buddy, and <laughs> it's like nine o'clock in the morning and everybody's working, and so I can't call anyone, so I'm like, what do I do, listen to music? Is that what people do in the car? I don't know, I just thought that was funny, I thought I'd share. <laughs> I just got back from my appointment maybe like an hour ago and I uh, was just catching up on some work because I was away for an hour this morning at my appointment. just have um, some sourdough bread in the toaster. I feel like making avocado toast so that's what I'm going to make for lunch and then I have to get back on um, my computer because I have another meeting, a bunch of meetings this afternoon. But I am in a good mood, so two good things. So my appointment went well. Um, it wasn't quite a routine checkup, although I did book that. So this is your <laughs> this is your PSA to book your annual checkup with your doctor, or if you have um, any concerns of anything in your body, like anything doesn't feel right, like go get it checked out because you are your only health advocate and if you don't have your health then you don't have anything so I want to put that reminder out there for everyone so I actually went this morning to an appointment at the hospital because I had an ultrasound on my breast because I was in hi Merlot <laughs> Merlot wants me to hold him he wants my attention um yeah I was just feeling like an uncomfortable um pain and I thought it was potentially a lump so that's always something to go get checked out um so i did and it still needs to be reviewed by the doctor but the ultrasound technician said that she didn't see anything she just saw saw that i have a lot of dense tissue which is why i feel like it's like hard and sore like painful anyways so crossing my fingers that seems like good news and then i came back here and I had, a, I had to jump on an urgent, not urgent call, but I had to jump on a call right away 
and uh, I spoke with my manager and she gave me good news and just was like validating the work that I've been doing and it was just like a really good conversation so I'm just in a good mood Merlo wants to go outside we're gonna eat avocado toast <laughs> I didn't really get myself ready for the day like I said I just quickly dried my hair because I showered this morning I actually wasn't allowed to put on deodorant so I have to go put on deodorant um, for my appointment and I got this new sweater from Lululemon and I'm obsessed with it and I want to get it in every color but they're very expensive so I'm not but it just like made me feel good and it was easy to like zip up zip on and off and this is my go-to work from home sweater now <laughs> I think also like what put me in a good mood it's like yes I left the house for an appointment which perhaps was causing me a little bit of worry but um, I don't know just like a break in your every routine everyday routine is important because I am such a routine person I am very much the one to like stay inside my comfort zone more often than not and especially more than ever with working from home and the pandemic like I stay home and inside way too much so just this little thing of going out this morning for an appointment like completely changed my routine and and I don't know like change my mindset in a good way sometimes you just gotta change things up even if it's leaving the house to go get yourself a coffee or something do it because if you're in a little bit of a funk which is totally normal especially this time of year and all the things that we've been going through like I urge you to just like change up your routine and then the second thing I urge you is to go to the doctor if you feel like you need to or just to do your annual checkup it's very important you should do it this is your reminder I need to show you the cutest thing. <laughs> so when I got home from my appointment, I was in such a rush to get back to my computer. Oh, he's going away, I didn't show you. Anyways, I was in such a rush to get back to my desk for my appointment. Horrible thing I did, but I threw my coat on the ground, which I'm going to pick up, but Merlot was sleeping right here. And as soon as I said it, he got up and he is right here. Hi, buddy. You wanna go outside? Come on. Come on. Yeah, so I have 10 minutes. My meeting just finished early and I have 10 minutes before my next one. So I'm gonna hang up my goat. It's already three o'clock. I said I was gonna put on makeup for the day and I did not. Oh wow, it is raining outside. I didn't even realize. I don't know where I've been. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get myself ready. I didn't know it was raining outside. I was just in a work hole, but. Come Merlo, come. He's like, no way, Rachel, it's raining. I don't want to go. <laughs> Come on. Come. Come, Rilo. Nope, he doesn't want to go. Anyways, I have to go downstairs and take dinner out of the fridge, I think. My mother, the queen of meal prep, she, <laughs> she made a an eggplant lasagna last night and she put it in the fridge downstairs here so she texted me to take it out of the fridge let's see there it is I need two hands for this but I'm gonna take it out of the fridge and bring it upstairs this with one hand it's just really cold she said let it sit at room temperature for like an hour and then put it in the oven so that it's ready for when she gets home where would I be without my mother doing all the meal prep oh my hand is cold appreciation message for my mother she's always looking out for us and making sure that we have healthy meals ready for us at our fingertips she even goes as far, I think I've shown this before. She even goes as far as to meal prep our fruit. So <laughs> she always has little Tupperwares in the container full of cut up, washed and sorted <laughs> um, berries and blackberries, strawberries. She made soup this weekend. 
is not too much, but she has always has like Tupperwares of meals ready. She even cut up this fruit. Like she reuses this container and cuts up her own fruit and put it in here. So it's easy grab and go for easy access because she knows that it's a big help to have like ready meals at your fingertips and my mother is goals and it is a big advantage of staying here um, versus when I was living on my own. Like I would adopt those same habits and uh, do a lot of meal prep too. I obviously got it from my mother and learned from her but it's really helpful when she does it and I try my best to help her um, and we do it together most often but yesterday I didn't I didn't help her and she did it all and she's just my hero you're my hero too Merlot you ready for your afternoon treat okay you didn't even eat your breakfast this is what it looks like outside it's raining we always shovel the backyard <laughs> so that Merlot can go and enjoy it so that's why there's um, snow piled up all around the pool are you ready you ready sit good boy <laughs> that's so cute it is 5 30 and i put this in a little bit ago it smells so good i wish you could smell it it's eggplant lasagna. So good. So I cooked it with um, the parchment paper and the foil, but I just uncovered it so that it can dry up a little bit and I put it back in at a lower temperature. I was cooking it at 400. I mean, I'm just doing the easy part of putting it in the oven. I cannot take credit. My mother made that and she's the best. She's on her way home now. I don't know, like I told myself I was gonna put on makeup today because I'm filming, but I just have no desire to, <laughs> so I'm not going to. I was just, I moved over to the couch here. Oh, Merlot's finally eating his treat. I don't know what's going on with him, but my mom and I think that his teeth are bothering him because I gave him his treat at like 2.30 or 3 o'clock when he asked me for it, and he's just been carrying it around in his mouth, and he hasn't been eating it, um, but he is right now, which is weird. So hopefully his teeth are feeling okay. Cause it's been like two hours and he's just been carrying his treat around. And he also didn't eat his food today. I mean, sometimes they go through phases, but it's pretty unlike him to not eat and to especially not eat his treat. He's never done that before because he loves his treat. He's turning 14 this year. Good boy, Merlot. Yeah. Your teeth okay? But yeah, he was like really clingy. So I, about an hour ago, I brought my computer over to the couch here and I've just been doing some emails with him on my lap. The joys of working from home. Although my work has told us that we are going back to work early April, one day a week. So that'll be good. And to be honest, like I enjoy the flexibility of working from home, but I do also enjoy the structure of being at the office so i think one day a week will be perfect <laughs> i think they'll start us at one day a week we'll probably eventually go to like two or three um but the communication so far has been that we will be in a hybrid model moving forward and i think that's going to be the perfect mix i'm content with that and even just like with myself and my living situation like i feel like i'll find a newfound purpose with being downtown and you know being at my place when I'm actually working in my office, which is close to my condo. So yeah, I've been like kind of living in limbo for the last two years, like while I've been working from home, especially in 2021, like I feel like I pretty much exclusively lived here at my parents' house and I would just visit my condo and I would treat it more like an Airbnb. Like I would go there on the weekends or I'd go there for like a couple days a week or I'd spend one week there and then two weeks here or like, I don't know, it was never consistent. So I've just been like living in that fluidi fluidity um, and not really putting pressure on myself because the situation has always been fluid um, with working from home. Like I don't have per se a purpose to be downtown because I don't need to like 
be there for any particular reason. I can work anywhere. So I've just been kind of living that way and not really putting pressure on myself because I really do enjoy like being with Merlot and being close to like my family, my friends, like everybody is closer to here. And it's pretty lonely when you're just working remotely through your screen talking to everyone it's just too lonely to be living on your own i really have a lot of respect for anyone who has continued living alone during the pandemic like for whatever your individual circumstances are um i feel privileged that i've had the opportunity to like live in both and have a fluid situation because i think that's a very privileged thing i want to acknowledge that i think it's also a privilege to have a cute puppy like him <laughs> just joking but it's kind of true <laughs> so yeah those are my updates i'm pretty excited and it'll be good it'll be good i already started like <laughs> thinking about oh my gosh do i need to switch gears stop buying lounge clothes and, and put together work outfits again that's gonna be fun i want to like do a closet clean out and like go through my work clothes i feel like i forgot what kind of work clothes i had and it was fun like getting dressed for work every day so that part I'm looking forward to. But who knows, these are just my candid thoughts. <laughs> this dog is so funny. I take the food out of the oven, I think he smells it, and then he gets hungry. So he's finally eating his breakfast. Hello, now you're back to normal. Good job. He's so funny. Okay, look, this is the lasagna, it looks so good. It smells so good, I wish I could smell it. Look at that baby. The reason why you cook it first covered is to like cook it thoroughly and then you take out the cover and then it allows some of the sauce to dry up which is a good thing because it's a little bit too watery. And then now I'm just letting it sit and it'll set. If you cut it right now while it's too hot, it'll be like soup, like it's too liquidy. It has to like sit and absorb so that's what it's doing. And that's why I was instructed to put it in the oven so early but my mom will be home soon, it's almost six, and I'm gonna just tidy up some of my dishes from the day. That's my bad habit, is I will just like be in a rush throughout the day, so I'll let my dishes pile up in the sink. It's usually only like two or three dishes, but then I'll, I'll do them right before we eat dinner, usually. So like right when I'm done working, is then I'll go and tidy up all my dishes in one at once versus like doing it throughout the day. I don't know why I am like that, but at least I do it, right? I don't let it sit there forever. <laughs> what are your habits? Do you do the dishes as you go or do you let them pile up like I do? Because I definitely let them pile up. Okay, everyone, she's home. The queen of her eggplant lasagna. <laughs> I think I need to change my shirt so that I could eat this because I don't want to get it dirty. I don't know when it splashes. Do you have anything to say about your eggplant lasagna? It smells delicious. I'm looking forward. <laughs> she also got more eggplants at the store today. And she's going to make more. Putting on my apron to avoid getting my sweater dirty. I guess I should just take it off my sweater. Feeling kind of hot anyways. All right, I want to try it. It's going to be so hot. Mm. Delicious. This is pretty typical for me. At the end of the night, I sit in bed and I will either scroll on TikTok, usually FaceTime my boyfriend at some point. And right now, where like I research things on my computer, I oddly do an, a lot of research on random things. Especially like if I'm gonna make an online purchase, I research it to death to make sure I'm getting the best quality, price, best, the best option. I, I'm, I'm to the extreme sometimes. But right now, I have my laptop here and I'm gonna start editing this video. So I'm just clearing some space on my computer and moving things to my hard drive, which is connected here. And just making space. It's always a storage issue when I'm editing videos because they take up a lot of memory. So I'm always like clearing things over. And I keep a folder on my laptop that's labeled to transfer. So like I add things to that folder that eventually can move to my external hard drive and then every so often I like when I run out of space <laughs> I just transfer everything over and that's my little organization hack of ways to manage it so now I can delete let's see how much memory do I have oh yeah I have like 20 gigs now I'm gonna just 
restart my computer probably will clear a little bit more and then I can import my footage and start editing. Those are the little things that I gotta do. I'm just editing this vlog now and I just wanted to say this is giving me OG YouTube vibes. Like this video is just very average. Just an average day of my in my life. I <laughs> talk about my mom and Merlot and just like the things in my life working from home. My doctor's appointments, like it's so average. But it was fun just talking to you and I enjoyed it. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I wanna as always say thank you to everyone who's watching this video i truly 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 appreciate you and appreciate you watching and supporting and just you know spending time with me on my channel so thank you so much if you want to chat more with me you can go ahead and follow me on instagram i post lots of stories of merlot over there in case you want any more but yeah i, I want to say good night i'm gonna head to bed now it's almost 11 so i'm just gonna wash up and lay down and wind down go to sleep um but yeah i appreciate you watching and i will talk to you in my next video bye